Hello again everybody. Today I'm going to show you a tutorial for a really cool card trick by Schwarzenegger Magic called Double Shock. If you guys have not seen his performance, click on the link, watch Schwarzenegger Magic's performance of Double Shock, then come back and I'll show you how the trick is done. The link is also down in the description box below, so check out his performance. I think this is a really great card trick. It's got a lot of people fooled. So hopefully you've watched the performance and here we go. This trick uses the Gilbreth Principle, which is a mathematical principle. If you do a YouTube search on Gilbreth Principle, you'll see that I've done five videos using this principle. Schwarzenegger Magic also has a couple of videos where he's applied this principle. So what you're going to use for this trick, a regular deck of cards, and you're going to set the cards up by turning over the second card, the fourth card, the sixth card, the eighth card, the tenth card, and the twelfth card. So two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve face up. Same thing from the bottom of the deck. Second card, fourth card, the sixth card, the eighth card, the tenth card, and the twelfth card face up from the bottom of the deck. And now you're ready to begin. So what you're going to do is you're going to tell the spectator that you could show the spectator. You, there's a natural break over here after 12 cards. You can feel that. So if you're using cards that have a border, just like the bicycle cards, you can actually push off and show most of the cards. You can tell the spectator, okay, what I'm going to do, and don't say I've got a, a whole deck of cards that are face down. Just spread the cards out. It looks like you've got a normal deck, and you're hiding the bottom 12 cards and the top 12 cards. Then be careful when you close the cards that you don't flash. So just do a nice tight close, and now you're going to tell the spectator to cut the cards in half. Do not set the cards down on the table because they could push the top card and flash the cards. So when you have them set the ask them to cut the cards. You want to hold the cards in your hand and say cut the cards in half. They'll take about half the cards and then you flip the bottom over. So now the bottom cards are face up, top cards are face down, and what you have here now is a 24 card stack. So the top 12 cards here and the top 12 cards here are stacked so you need to get 20 of those 24 cards on top of the deck after your riffle shuffle. It's not that difficult, but you need to do a fairly decent riffle shuffle. You don't want to do a riffle shuffle like this, where you can, they can see the cards. You want to do a corner riffle shuffle, so holding the deck in the corner, making a V-shape away from you, riffle the cards down, and riffle the two halves together. Then you square the cards together, and now you can show the spectator spread them out and show that the cards are all mixed up face down face up and now turn the cards back to the original direction now you're going to tell the spectator you're going to turn your back and you want them to follow your instructions what you want them to do is you want them to deal two piles of ten cards each alternating one one two two three three four four and you want them to say this out loud while your back is turned so you can hear what they're doing so they begin your back is turned they go one one two two three three four four five five six six seven seven eight eight nine nine ten ten get rid of the rest of the cards now you tell the spectator with your back still turned you'd like them to select a pile and just put your hand on top of the pile and cover it now I'm going to put my hand, but I'll put the card box on top of this pile. So let's say they selected this pile. You now turn around and you say, okay, the cards were shuffled. You saw the deck was completely mixed up. You dealt the cards into two piles of ten. Now I'm going to take this pile behind my back. And what you're doing behind your back is all you're doing is you're reversing the order of the 12 cards, the, the 10 cards, that is, and then you're flipping the pack over. So you take the cards behind your back and you just go like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and you flip the cards over. Now you come back around and you say, okay, let's see if I've got my cards in the same position as yours with the face up and the face down. They take their hand off and you go through the cards. Face up, face down, face up, face down, face down, face up, face up, face down, face up, face down. Just like that. And it works every time. Uh, practice your riffle shuffles. Like I said, they don't have to be perfect, but if the trick fails, it's because you didn't get 20 cards on top of the deck. 
Uh, so uh, check out Schwarzenegger Magic. Let me know what you think. That's it. I'll see you next time.